In this video, we're going to talk about how to install Tailwind in your Expo app. So you can use the Tailwind CSS styling in your Expo app. A really important thing to know is you need to install Native Wind specifically. If you install Tailwind directly into an Expo app, it will only work for web. If you want universal support, so it works in iOS, Android, and web, you have to specifically use native wind and with expo 52 and above with a new expo router the only documentation that i found that actually works is the native wind documentation specifically and so this is the documentation we're going to go through together your first step if you're using expo is to copy this install command you're going to be installing a lot of packages come back to your project install all of those packages you can ignore this npx pod install do not do this if you're already using expo in your project your next step is to run npx tailwind css in it this is so that your app will create a tailwind.config.js file and as you can see it creates a tailwind.config.js file open up that file come back to the documentation this next part is really important you have to set it up this way some other documentation I read did not specifically do it this way, and I didn't know why my app wasn't working. You have to make sure the contents is going to the new app directory, and you need presets inside of an array, and it specifically needs to say require native wind slash presets. So I'm going to copy this, come back here, and paste that right there. Again, make sure you do it this way. I tried following other documentation. I think what it told me to do was to do it like this, and it just didn't work, and my app wouldn't even open. So make sure you do it like this in your tailwind.config.js file. Next, you need to create a global.css file. Come to the root of your project, create the file here, and and again, that needs to be in the root of your project. So don't put it inside of app, the app directory or anything like that. Put it inside of the root of your project. Come here, copy the Tailwind base components utilities. Come to your global.css file, paste that there. Next, you need to create a babel.config.js file if you haven't already. Go to the root of your project, create that right there. Then copy this. Again, this is really important. Just follow along with the documentation. Copy this exactly as they have it. Paste that here. In other documentation I was following, it had me do it a different way and it didn't work. So it specifically needs to be this way in your babel.config.js file. Next, you're gonna need to create a metro.config.js file if you haven't already. You can either just create it directly or you can run npx expo customize the file name. And so I'll go ahead and do that. And as you can see, it created a metro.config.js file. Come here and copy this, paste that here. You'll notice it added with native wind. This is really important. Again, in other documentation, it did not have this step. This is really important if you want it to work with Expo 52 or above. Finally, you need to import the global.css file. Come to your app directory, go to your layout in the root of your app directory, put that at the top of the file. And now you should be ready to use Tailwind. I'm gonna open my app and show you it working. But before I do that, I just wanted to mention the sponsor of this video, nativenotify.com. Nativenotify.com is the simplest way to set up push notifications. All you have to do is npm install the native notify package, import a register in and push token function, and paste that function at the top of your index file or your app.js file, and push notifications are already set up. You can try out nativenotify.com today for free with no credit card required. This is my explore page. I'm gonna import the text component from React Native. I'm gonna try out changing the explore header for our normal text. As you can see, it got smaller. Now I'm gonna try out using Tailwind. So the way you can use it is by putting a class name. I'm gonna say text LG to see if it makes it large. And it did. I'm gonna say text 3XL. All right, and as you can see, as I'm typing, after you install Native Wind, it will populate all the Tailwind CSS for you as you're typing. So I'm gonna say font bold, and as you can see, it made it bold. And you should be able to even put 
something like an array and you could declare how big the text is in the array. And so from that point on, Tailwind works in iOS, Android, and web. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.